Hello everyone, today I do something that's probably not the most exciting but it needs to be done every once in a while and that's checking the calibration of your Rockwell tester. I have on here a little calibration plate which has, um, I hope I can show you this, exactly 63.3 Rockwell C, you can, you can um, see it right there. And it's quite used. You can see quite a bit of dimples here. I soon need to buy a new one because there's a given distance between each dimple. You cannot, uh, by ASTM testing protocol, you cannot go too close to another one, not closer than two millimeters, or you will uh, don't you won't have the right results because it will push away more material than it normally would, or I should say, it pushes it away easier. And the more and deeper the indentation. Uh, diamond that's mounted here pushes the softer the reading. That's basically how um, Rockwell C testing works. So it's very important that you have enough steel and always the same amount of steel to push away. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So you can see here um, I have picked a spot which is uh, at least two millimeters away from all other dimples. And let me bring you back up. Uh, I have this nice digital one, so the first thing I do, and I don't want to go into detail of Rockwell testing, but you first apply a preload. This uh, cool device here, because it's digital, tells me acoustically when I'm approaching it. You can hear the beep, and when I reach it, now I pull the lever, wait 4 seconds, which it shows me on the display, and go back out. and. That's just where you want to be, 63.3 Rockwell C. And um, I did a few tests before, um, maybe you saw it when I started the video on the, on, down on the bottom here. There it was showing 6 from 6 and an average value. This Rockwell tester is plus minus 0.1 HRC uh, accurate. So it would be okay to still have, to have 63.4 or 63.2 uh, and that, that would be okay but um, 9 out of 10 times if I poke the calibration plate which has 63.3 Rockwell as imprinted on there. Let me show you this a little better. I would say 9 out of 10 times when I poke this it really goes to the 63.3 and yeah or sometimes 63 the other one times out of 10 is it's either 63.2 or 63.4 but yeah it's it's a very nice machine uh, definitely inside the tolerance uh, they spec on it and I couldn't be happier so this video again probably not that exciting but I think tolerance uh, tolerances and showing the tolerances uh, how you uh, monitor them how I monitor them is transparency and that's very important to me and yeah thanks for watching guys